everyone, it's Farmer Charlotte from Cannon Hall Farm. I'm here with our lovely little pygmy goat Petal, who, as you can see, has been in a little bit of bother lately. She's sadly had to have a C-section, um, so we're going to retire her from breeding, but I do think I have the perfect spot for her. As some of you know, I've got a couple of pygmy goats at home, and I kind of decided what's the harm in having one more. I think I've got the perfect place for her back at my farm. Um, luckily, she's really friendly, so I don't think she's going to take much catching. Oops. Sight scoop her up like you do the boys. Lovely. Yay! Oh. <laughs> I know, she's going in. Come on, little lady. Into the, into the goat pen. <laughs> Please go in. Cool. Don't be sad, be happy. <laughs> Yay! Let's go, pedal! So these two little guys down here um, are my current two little pet pygmy goats, um, Spud and Smokey, who I actually bottle fed at work um, and brought home as well. Um, so they're both castrated males, so thankfully there'll be no more babies for Petal. Um, but they can be a little bit funny with each other um, when they do get introduced goats, so that's why they're all separate for the time being. And it's also just really important to keep them separate um, just while Petal recovers from that C-section as well. The treats normally work on uh, persuading them in, but um, they're not quite convinced today, now there's somebody else in the house. <laughs> so she'll have to have um, a few weeks just inside here, um, sort of getting to know these two, but when she's all better, everybody's friends, they'll have a little bit of a run outside as well. So I'm pretty sure um, very soon they'll all be friends and uh, getting along together. Um, I'm really happy I could uh, rehome one of our farm favourites um, and definitely keep her out of the way of any billy goats and having any more kids. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I will definitely try and keep everyone updated on how she gets on.